You always hear everyone say how it's important to never give up on your goals and to be ruthless in chasing them and never stop until you succeed. However, there's definitely a time and place for giving up to be able to move on to something bigger and better. Knowing when to change direction is crucial because if you spend your whole entire life focused on the wrong goal that's not going to get you to where you want to be, then you're just wasting your time, honestly. This has been the case for me this past year. I've been making videos pretty consistently. However, not as many as I want to or need to if I want to grow and improve. I started out of, I think it was January 4th last year, made a couple of wish videos. I'm sure some of you guys will remember them. And then I switched to two running videos, I believe it was two. And then I moved into sort of a new style, which I thought was going to be the style that I was going to stick with. It was sort of an investigative journalism type, and I really focused on conspiracies. Now, if you're looking at my channel page and you only see one video that's that style, it's because there was only one. <laughs> However, I did have two that I actually fully filmed and started editing, and I had two others in the pipeline, I had the scripts written out had it planned out and everything. But this is when I realized that I was not motivated to be making this style of videos. I've always loved making videos. However, I'm just, I'm not passionate about the things that I was making videos about. I actually have this entire whiteboard filled with ideas for this investigative journalism style that I was planning to do. Honestly, I think there's like over 50, um, but I'm gonna blur it because you never know, I might come back to them one day and I don't want to leak them. And honestly, I feel like the ideas are pretty good. The problem is that I'm not passionate about them. Like, for, ex for example, sorry, let me speak into the mic. Like, I'm sure you've all heard of the Church of Scientology or the Illuminati or the pyramids, things like that. I mean, conspiracies are fun and all, but I'm just, I'm not really passionate about that. The last video that I did was on Lake Lanier. It's a lake near my house that basically got flooded and I really love that video. I love the entire process of it. I thought that was going to be my new style. However, when I started making the next two, that's where things kind of took a turn for the worse, I guess you could say, to not be dramatic. I got stuck in this like terrible wall, or I guess, I guess you could say a wall, where I was hung up on this one video. It was about the Appalachian Trail and how a conspiracy about that. And I was so hung up on making this video that I was wasting so much time and I was just procrastinating and... It was really destructive to my growth, I guess you could say. I wasn't taking the steps forward every day like I always try to make myself do. I was at a standstill. Basically, a segment of that style of video that I was doing was interviews on the street, talking to random people. Literally just had to go up to them with my camera and be like, hey, can I film you? And that definitely got me out of my comfort zone, and I thought that was a great thing. However, that's what was holding me back because... Every video that I was planning to do on that whiteboard involved that, and it took me so much time and <laughs> courage to be able to do that and just go up to people. And it wasn't worth it in the end because it meant that I was gonna take forever to make videos, and you're never gonna get better if you're not actually practicing what you're doing. Like a side note, literally at the Lake Lanier video, I pulled up, I had my girlfriend with me the first day that I filmed it, and we spent like hours there all day and got two interviews and it was I only asked like three people so I only got one no and two yeses but I was just I'd like walk near people walk by them and then just walk right past them act like I wasn't going to say anything to them and then I had to go back like two more times I went with her again and then went by myself actually which was crazy to just be walking around a little downtown area with my camera and asking people by myself it was it was crazy it was it helped me grow for sure but it wasn't sustainable it was not sustainable for making future videos. And obviously I don't have 50 interesting video ideas that are gonna occur at places that I live near. So I would actually have to travel to make those videos. And I do not have that kind of money right now. And I'm not monetized. I'm not really even close to being monetized. So, <laughs> so, um, so literally those videos would not even pay for themselves. Like I don't even really care about making the profit at the end of the day but it, they wouldn't even be sustainable for my bank account. And I feel like I'm making excuses right now, which I hate doing, and I hope it doesn't come off like that because I'm still gonna be making videos, just not that style. But those types of videos, oh, they were so scripted. I would write out an entire, let me find one actually. Here's one of my, scr here's one of my scripts for one video. It's literally one page, two page, three page, four page, and then basically five pages of script for one video. 
So that takes a while to brainstorm and write out. And I don't like the scripted feel. I think YouTube is also moving away from the scripted feel. I guess you could say Mr. Beastification. But I definitely like the more authentic way of presenting a video. So not only would that script writing take forever, but then to actually go to the place, travel to it, because I'm not gonna make a video about a conspiracy in my room, because I just didn't really like that style. I'd actually go to the place. If I didn't get it done in one day, I had to go back twice, maybe even three times to film. Then the editing, I was taking so seriously and being like so OCD about trying to make sure everything was perfect. I wanted the storyline, every single line to be perfect. And it, it gave a really scripted feel and it took forever, which is not sustainable for making more videos, which is what I'm all about right now. I know I shouldn't be kind of demeaning like hard work and putting a lot of work into a video, but it's just not practical for me right now. I'm still in college. I have a part-time job, although making excuses again, like this past semester, I literally took off work to focus on videos and then I posted like one video. So this is kind of like, why I got in a rut, I guess. It was like I had this mental attitude and mindset that was just uh, not helping the videos. And it showed in the videos. I liked the Lake Lanier video. I think I did really good on that one. I'm really proud of that one. However, the next two that I had edited, they were, um, you could tell that I was not very passionate about it. So anyways, I know that I shouldn't be kind of saying that hard work and putting a lot of work into a video is bad. However, I'm just really busy and I want to be able to make videos because I've always loved making videos and this new style that I'm going to be doing is talking about mindset and kind of self-improvement and everything like that and I love talking about self-improvement. If you know me in real life, it's literally, if you start talking to me about that, it just gets me going. It gets my gears going and I'm usually pretty quiet but when we talk about self-improvement, I will talk all day about that. So this new kind of raw, less edits style that I'm going for is gonna be a lot easier for me to pump out videos. And I'm not saying I'm gonna be doing quantity over quality. I'm gonna try to match it because both are very important. But I have a lot of video ideas for this kind of topic. It's kind of entrepreneurship, growth, self-improvement. I'm into fitness as well. Might talk about that. Goals, I'm obsessed with goals and Everything that I just mentioned, everything in that space, I'm sure there will be something for you. But this new style, I can literally just put on the camera, sit in my room, I don't have to pay money for a plane ticket, I don't have to ask people to film me, I don't have to drive, and it's like I have no excuse now except myself. All I have to do is sit down and talk and write a couple notes, but I mean, that's it. Editing is gonna be minimal. I like that feel a little bit better. But kind of my goal for this new style is I'm trying to care less about the subscribers. I always I always have been pretty obsessed with that from a young age. Um, and then a big part of my life is like success and achievement. That's something I value um, really heavily. I've always been one to set big goals. And if even if I don't accomplish the big goal, I still try to get as high as I can with that goal and basically have something to show for it. So I am kind of into having the subscriber count, but that was kind of in the past videos. For this style of video, even if I get one subscriber from every video, if I get zero subscribers, if there's literally no <laughs> nobody watching this shit, at least it's for me. Um, it's going to be kind of like a self-log, kind of like a journal, diary type shit. Because at the end of the day, I just want to have something that I can look back on and see kind of what was going on in my mind at that time holds me accountable because I want to keep making videos and it'll hold me accountable on my goals as well. But in addition to that kind of video journals for myself, I hope to inspire you guys as well because I'm going to have some pretty relatable stories, I feel like. I'm going to have some life examples of just, you know, stuff that happens to me day to day, some old stories from my past and stuff of when I was on a grind and stuff like that that I'm sure most of you guys can relate to in some way. But not only do I wanna inspire you guys, I want you guys to inspire me. I know that having an audience can be a big source of inspiration, and whether that's like comments that you guys leave, but not even that necessarily, but just kinda of knowing that you guys are there and on your journeys as well will motivate me, and hopefully one day I can actually build a community with you guys and kind of have somewhere that we can all talk about self-improvement because I never get tired of it, but other people I talk to, I feel bad when I'm just talking about only that. 
because nobody really wants to talk about only self-improvement and mindset and all that, all those things. But hopefully some of you guys do because I'd love to talk all day. But I hope I was clear with the style that I'm going for. It's going to be me sitting here. I might do some out and about eventually type vlogs and things like that. But that's not the main goal. The main goal is just to sit here, talk about mindset because I'm constantly just thinking throughout the day. I try to actually give myself some just like silent time. Sometimes when I drive, I don't listen to music. <laughs> Like, I don't know if that sounds insane to some of you guys, but hopefully some of you guys can relate. Sometimes I'll just drive for like an hour and literally be in silence just thinking of, uh, I guess you could say philosophy, but it's just kind of ways to look at life. I'm going to be talking about my goals, which kind of slippery slope, talking about your goals to other people. I'll talk about that in the next video, hopefully. And then also just ways to look at life more efficiently to be able to get things done and Honestly, just to make you have a more positive attitude throughout the day, I feel like I'm always, no matter how, so when I was not making videos, I was uh, like getting annoyed at myself, you could say, and kind of in this like negative feedback mindset where I was like, oh, I'm not making videos. Let's just keep not making videos, that sort of thing. But I want to like kind of build a mindset of just constant positive feedback, ways to look at life that keep you happy and more efficient because I feel like efficiency is a big, and being productive are big factors in improving your life. Oh, and I almost forgot. I was gonna do this at the beginning of the video, but a little background about me, I guess you could say. I've always played sports my whole life, so I've had that competitive mindset. I don't know if I was, I might've been born with it. My mom's pretty competitive. I grew up playing sports. I always loved trying to be the best. I wasn't always the best at, actually I was never the best at anything. Um, but I always tried to be as good as possible and make myself proud, whether that was like soccer, baseball, lacrosse. And then in high school, I got really into cross country. And uh, I did wrestling as well, but cross country was like the main thing. I was obsessed with that. I did it all four years, and I didn't get really obsessed with it until my junior year. So the final two years, I was running all the time. I had this great mindset. I was waking up early. I'd go to wrestling practice, get out of wrestling practice, go run because I was so focused on cross country. I got into lifting my senior year and got to a point that I was pretty proud of. Um, I got like, I was proud of uh, my body. <laughs> I don't know if that sounds weird. I always like grew up really, really skinny. So I like got pretty muscular and prove to myself that I can do things like that. No matter how you're born, you can change. Because whatever you're given at birth doesn't define your whole life. You can always change it. And then once I got to college, um, it was kind of hard to eat. I was eating like 3,700 calories a day just to maintain my physique because I'm naturally really small, only like 130 pounds, and I was at 152. So I dropped a lot of weight. And after that, I got into more of the business kind of entrepreneurship realm of things. I've always had that kind of entrepreneurial spirit. Um, ever since I was young, I was like selling artwork to my family and stuff. Uh, what else? Made like duct tape uh, necklaces and wallets in third grade. Oh, I sold popcorn door-to-door uh, -door, like sales for Boy Scouts. I guess that's not really entrepreneur, but um, it was like sales, I guess. Started YouTube in middle school. Actually got some of my old videos up might private them, so be sure to watch them before it's too late. But once I got to college, I really started to get into it. I became obsessed with it. I was always interested in like investing and saving money and real estate investing one day. I was watching videos like that in high school, but then in college, I actually started taking some action on it. I started an Amazon FBA store. I was like, but it wasn't legit. It was just like I was um, buying products for clearance at stores and then flipping them. That was kind of the first like actual thing that I did. And it felt cool. I That's where I started developing my mindset. I didn't make a lot of money, made like a thousand dollars over like two months, but it was cool. It was a learning experience. And that's where I sort of became obsessed with entrepreneurship. And from there, it's just all I think about all day. And then there was like two other things that I tried in between that, but they were half baked. I guess you could say. I didn't really like fully indulge into them and it's because I caught myself and it's because I realized that I wasn't passionate about those things. So I was like, well, this isn't gonna be long-term if I'm not passionate about it because I don't actually care. 
And it's a lot easier to work hard on something when you actually give a fuck about it. But I just got so busy that I kind of got derailed, but now I'm trying to balance both because I'm actually working like an internship for my major, which is construction management. And I'm trying to balance making these videos as well to kind of circle back to needing to take as little time on these videos. I know that sounds bad, but I need to be able to make videos and also be able to work at my internship because I love both and I don't want to give either up because they're both important for me. And that's where I'm at today. I'm trying to get back into lifting, but I have this dilemma where I'm like, do I lift or do I run? Because I love both and I like being like really good at one thing. And if you're lifting and trying to run at the same time, they kind of cancel each other out almost. You can do it, um, but I'd rather just pick one and become insane at it. But I'm thinking running right now, although I always go back and forth, so. We'll see this year, I guess. So I've been making videos this past year, changing up the style to something I'm more passionate about. And I was proud of myself because it's been a full year making videos and I haven't stopped. I've been not as frequent as I've liked to, but I never stopped. And I hope I can continue that for the years to come because I always wanna be doing this. I hope you guys like this new style. I'm sure I'll find a new audience with this to add on to the 500 subscribers that I already have and I hope to build that into a community and uh, I'm excited for this change. See you guys later.